his king for designing airplane. He just can't stop it because it is what he dreamed of for his entire life. I think it totally conveyed the dilemma between his dream and his beloved one and make me restore this thing of my thought about dream. Then I realized that life is not like the pyramid of Maslow. You satisfy your physiological needs, your safety needs, social needs, esteem needs, and finally, your self-actualization needs. Life is kind of exchange. You need to sacrifice something to get what you really want. Like Jiro sacrificed his opportunity to stay with his wife, even when his wife was dead, he cannot and didn't accompany with her. Or Steve Jobs, who had almost sacrificed his health to fulfill his ambition. I'm not saying those people lead an unhappy life. They are really, really great people. They raise the model for the whole world. I'm just saying that there is no perfect way to lead your life. There will always be some dissatisfaction in everyone's life. What we can do is to make the choice that we will not regret. So now, since my lifelong goal doesn't come yet, I will choose to spend more time with my family. Because after a few years, maybe I will study abroad, work abroad, or I will find my dream and immerse myself in it. And maybe at that time, I can scarcely stay with my family, even though they are the most important people in my world. There is a lyric I want to share with you. It goes like, cherish what you have at the time you can cherish it. Therefore, I will value whatever fate brings to me. And when I find what I want to do, I will be ready for it. Toastmaster of the evening.